Hi guys, it's Just Monis Fiction and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing my favorite fantasy romance books that are all available on Kindle Unlimited. Alright guys, so I have 11 books on this list. They are all fantasy romance and available free on KU. Now like all my other recommendations videos, I'm going to keep this completely spoiler free and just tell you my thoughts regarding each book. Now if you're unfamiliar with my channel, I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday. If you haven't, please like and subscribe. You can also hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I post new bookish content. You can also check out my Instagram and Goodreads, both linked down below. With all that out of the way, let's talk about these fantasy romance wrecks. All right, so I'm going to start this off with one of the books I read recently and really enjoyed, and that is Untainted by Lillian James. So I can't get too much into the plot because there's so many surprises in this story. I don't want to ruin it for you guys, but we're following this girl that when she is five years old, she is kidnapped and taken to this empire. Now, when she gets there, she realizes she is different from everyone around her, but she does her best to blend in. Now, 15 years goes by, she's 20 years old, and she is great at fighting. No one realizes that she might be a little different until she gets into a fight with a fae male and he immediately recognizes her and wants to tell her who she truly is and it goes from there it was so much fun i really enjoyed this it's not super groundbreaking we're seeing a lot of the same tropes we see in a lot of other fantasy romance i just think it was done very very well the tension was kept up the entire time and i can't wait to read the next book in this series i don't think it comes out till august which is so unfortunate, but it was a really good time and I highly recommend if you're a fan of fantasy romance. Next up, I finally got around to reading The Unseelie Prince. Now, I will say, listen to this on audio. I don't recommend. Um, I was not a huge fan of the narrator's voice. I actually ended up switching to my Kindle. But this is following a witch who ends up being kidnapped by the prince of the Unseelie court and he forces her to stay in, well, he kind of tricks her into staying in this maze and he makes a deal with her that if she can escape the maze he'll let her go now what she doesn't realize is that this prince needs to marry a human and kill her in order to ascend into becoming king so it's a very interesting story i wasn't a huge fan of it however it was a very quick read it did have a lot of sexual tension so if you're a fan of that i would definitely check this one out i don't think i'll be continuing with the series but it was a very solid read all right, so moving on to a more popular fantasy romance, we have The Zodiac Academy by Caroline Peckman and Susan Valenti. So I have a full spoiler-free series review that I will leave linked in the cards and in the description if you want to go check that out. But this is following two twin girls who find out on their 18th birthday that they're actually fae royalty. However, if they want to claim their inheritance, they have to go to the Zodiac Academy, this fae school. And when they get there, they find out that there are these celestial heirs that are ruling the school and they don't want to deal with these Vega twins. Now, this is a bully romance, might not be for everyone, I absolutely adore this series. I just think it is so fun. I've seen people compare it to like trashy television where you just, you can't stop watching. So I love the plot. I love everything about this. I will say the first book is probably my least favorite in the series. It really gets better the farther you go. I know a lot of people don't want to read this long book and then find out that you have to read more um, if you don't enjoy the first one. But I'm telling you, please give it at least until book three. Book three is really where it takes off. But overall, I love this series. It's so good and it's free on Kindle Unlimited. And next up is a novella that's gaining a lot of popularity on TikTok and that is The Never King by Nikki Sancro. The second book, I believe it's called The Dark One, is also available now on KU. So this is a dark Peter Pan reimagining and it's following the descendants of Wendy. And on their 18th birthday, the darlings are kidnapped by Peter and taken to this island and they come back just like broken shells of themselves. So I believe this is like three generations later we're following Winnie and she believes her mother is insane because she keeps saying that Peter Pan is gonna come and kidnap her and make sure her windows are all locked and everyone just thinks that she's out of her mind. Well, it turns out she was telling the truth and on Winnie's 18th birthday, Peter Pan comes and claims her and takes her to the island where she meets all the lost boys and it is reverse harem. It is so spicy, it is really dark. I very much enjoyed it. So I highly recommend, and it's super short, it's a novella, so you can definitely read this in one sitting, but I really, really enjoyed it. All right, next up we have The Bridge Kingdom by Danielle L. Jensen. So I'm not gonna lie, it has been over a year since I read this. However, I do have a full spoiler-free review I will leave in the cards and in the description. But this is following Arin. So Arin was raised alongside her sisters, 
and they were trained to be spies and assassins, hoping that one day one of them will be picked to wed the heir to the Bridge Kingdom and then kill him. Now, Arryn is the lucky winner. However, when she gets to the Bridge Kingdom, she soon forms a romantic relationship with the heir, and it goes from there. I very much enjoyed this. This was so fun. This is one of my favorite fantasy romance books or books that helped me get into fantasy romance. And the second book was just as good. I finally got around to reading it like five months after I read the first one. But definitely recommend and both books are available free on KU. All right, this next book is probably the spiciest of all these recommendations and that is A Ruin of Roses and this is by K.F. Breen. Now, this is a very loose beauty and the beast retelling and we're actually following a fae whose entire village has been cursed, where in this world the Fae are able to tap into this like animal second personality, but now because of this curse they're no longer able to do that. On top of that, the Fae seem to die off at a very early age. Now our main character has realized that there are these roses that can actually prolong life of these people that are cursed, and one day when she is gathering these roses, she ends up being seen by Prince Nifton, who is the last dragon shifter, and he captures her and takes her back to this castle that is run by demons, and it is just a ridiculous time. Now, I did enjoy this. The humor in this is very good. I did find myself laughing out loud a lot of the time while reading this. However, the characters have some juvenile actions. I didn't believe they were the ages they were supposed to be. They just made some very interesting slash kind of dumb decisions. And these spicy scenes, I didn't love. I don't love the way KF Brain writes spice. I read another one of her books and I ended up dropping it. So I think that's just a me thing. It's just very blunt, very in your face. Um, but if you love spice and you want a lot of it, Check this book out. All right, next up is one of my favorite fantasy romance books. However, I have so much trouble trying to summarize the plot just because so much happens, but in the best way. So this is To Bleed a Crystal Bloom, and this is by Sarah A. Parker. So this is following Orlaith, and when she was two years old, her entire family was killed in this horrible massacre. Now the High Commander ends up stumbling upon the scene, and he finds Orlaith and brings her back to his castle, where he raises her in isolation. And for some reason, every night, he requires a drop of Orlais blood. And that's really all I could tell you. I absolutely loved this book. I was so confused until the very end. And even at the very end, there's still some plot uh, points that we haven't even figured out yet. I think that's going to happen in the sequel. But I just loved uncovering the mysteries of what was going on with the High Commander and this castle with Orlaith. And then also just seeing Orlaith heal from the trauma. Like that massacre has plagued her her entire life. So highly recommend. Check this book out. It is a very unique fantasy romance. All right. And next up, we have Guild by Raven Kennedy. So this is a very loose King Midas retelling. We are following Oren, who is solid gold and is being kept as almost like Midas's pet. He has her on display for people to see and she is completely comfortable being subservient to Midas. She just wants to stay in this throne and drink all day and that's pretty much it. She doesn't have a lot of personality in the beginning of the book. But as the story progresses and Oren ends up having to leave this gilded cage, we get a lot more from her. We get to find out more about her personality and it became a really, really good story. So I almost DNF'd this book when I first started. I'm so happy I didn't because I did really enjoy this and I enjoyed the second book. I still have to read the third book before the fourth book comes out. I'm hoping to do that this month, but overall, very good story, definitely worth the hype. I would definitely recommend picking it up. And next up is definitely one of my favorite vampire romance and that is Black Sunshine by Karina Halley. So we are following this witch and it is about to be her 21st birthday and she's just loving life until she is kidnapped by a vampire who realizes what she is the moment he sees her. And it goes from there. She finds out that her parents were keeping a lot of secrets from her. And it's really just about Lenore discovering everything about herself and her history. And the spicy scenes were phenomenal. I absolutely love them this. I love the tension. It was definitely like enemies to lovers and it was really good. I read this in one setting and it's a pretty chunky book. So highly recommend if you want a really good vampire romance, check this one out. This next book I was not personally a fan of, however, a lot of people really enjoy it and that is why I included it on this list and that is City of Thorns by C. N. Crawford. So I was actually buddy reading this with Isa from Fun Fantasy Books. Had I not been buddy reading this, I probably would not have finished it. So we are following our main character who wants to get revenge on her mother's murderer and all she knows is that her mother's murderer is a demon living in the demon area of the city. Unfortunately, our main character has not been invited to that area and doesn't have enough money to get in on her own. 
Luckily, one day, this demon walks into a bar that she is in and mistakes our main character for someone else, and they decide to team up to help each other out, and it goes from there. So this did have a decent amount, not actually, it didn't have a lot of spice, it had some spicy scenes, um, it just had some comedic moments that didn't really land for me. I wasn't a huge fan of the writing and I hate urban fantasy, I just have to accept this. The only urban fantasy story I've ever really enjoyed was Crescent City. But besides all of that, I think there were some really good moments in this. It was a very unique fantasy romance, so I would definitely check this out. Personally, not for me, but still recommend. All right, and last up, we have Deal with the Elk King, and this is by Elise Kova. So this is following Luella, and in Luella's world, every 300 years or so, a woman is chosen to be married off to the Elf King, and they are never seen or heard from again. So unfortunately, Luella ends up being chosen. So when she gets to this magical world and she meets the Elf King, they immediately hate each other. This is definitely enemies to lovers. But not only that, Luella realizes that the magical world is dying. So in order to save their people, these two end up teaming up together and try to figure out what is happening with the world. I very much enjoyed this. This was very fun. Um, this book has been out for a while. I haven't seen people talking about it recently, but still a very solid and fun read. I read a few things by Elise Kova. This is definitely my favorite and I highly recommend. All right, guys, those are all my KU fantasy romance recommendations. Please let me know down in the comments below if there are other fantasy romance books that you love from Kindle Unlimited. Now, I said this already. I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. I will see you all next week. Bye.